ISD. They're bringing back plenty of players who have experience, including Courtney Riston, the senior out of Colorado, who is in front for USD in that front line. Should be a fun our evening of basketball. It's game one of a double header here at the Jenny Craig Pavilion. And Jack mentioned the brand new upgrades. We got the brand new video board above our heads here at the JCP and ribbon boards throughout the stadium. Had to show it a little bit during the volleyball season. It's been great so far. Gets a little bit extra loud here in the JCP with the brand new facilities. It's awesome. Great upgrades here at the Jenny Craig Pavilion. Really impressive uh, the way the offseason has gone for everybody here. You see the players that are out there already looking up because they can see some of the replays. They can see some of the gameplay itself. And for the fans, it's a great experience here in San Diego. And with that, some brand new uniforms for the Toreros as well, donning the white on white. Biola wearing the black on black. And we're underway as Biola wins the tip as they will go from right to left on your screen. Over the far side wing is Henley. Moves to the top of the key with Kubo. Works her back way to the right side. Walker, top of the key now. Miller drives left hand. And she's cut off by Riley. Back outside in the corner with three to shoot. Goes off the glass and off the rim. And Kylie Horsmeyer pulls down the board. One of our familiar faces on this Torero basketball team. Ranson cross court, there's Horsemeyer. Courtney Riston on the wing. Lauren McCall. We face Riley. And now back to McCall. Right block. The ball gets tipped and picked off by Thurman as she goes across the timeline. And a travel is called. And the first violation of the night. Benny Luna, Scott Osborne, Jen Calhoun are officiating crew this evening here at the JCP. Well, these two decades for Cindy Fisher and the University of San Diego, defense first all the time for the Toreros. And we've seen that now early on, these first couple of possessions for USD, but always a fantastic club on both ends of the floor, particularly defensively. The starters tonight for San Diego, Ranson, Riley, Riston, McCall, and Horsemeyer. As there's Lauren McCall at the point, that ball gets tipped away, knocked out of play. And out of the five starters, three are returners from last year's team. Laura McCall did start a little bit as a freshman. Kylie Horsemeyer has been a mainstay with this team for a long time, as well as Courtney Riston, who is underneath the basket, getting two off the glass and in in the first points of this evening's game, 2-0 San Diego. We have a Ranson one-on-one -on -one coverage for San Diego. Down underneath the basket, is Henley as uh, she dribbles it back out. Henley pulls up a three and just short. McCall pulls down the board. McCall in transition, finds it off of Riston and it goes out of play off of Biola. And it'll be San Diego basketball underneath the hoop as the two, these two teams play for the second time since 2022. Wednesday's game is the 10th all time tonight against for the two programs. Biola does hold a 6-3 overall advantage against USD. Transition points and a foul. Well, both teams pushing the pace here early on. And you're trying to force mistakes in the other side. This one leads to a foul contact and a couple of free throws for our first set. And we'll see a substitution here as Paris Santa Caterina comes in for San Diego. And Laura McCall takes a quick break. At the line is Camden Miller. Sophomore out of Gardnerville, Nevada. First bucket is good. And now a 2-1 lead for USD. As I mentioned before, the last, two time, last time these two teams played here at the JCP, San Diego won 75-47 back on November 11th of 2022. Almost a year to the day, back on Veterans Day. Santa Canalina underneath the basket, back out to Riley. Riley in the corner, finds Horsemeyer as an outlet. She drives baseline and back out. And a nice three for Santa Caterina. And the first three-pointer of the season goes to San Diego, a 5-1 lead. Spread things out, moving the ball around, creating the open look. 
Three-point answer is no good. Off the front end of the rim, Riston pulls it down. And here comes Santa Catarina. Around to Riston. Inside, kind of lost the ball for a second and just short on the layup and Biola pulls it down. Alyssa Kubo brings it across the court. Again, 5-1 lead for USD, 7-10 to go in the first quarter. Three-pointer for Miller rolls out. And Horsemeyer pulls down the board. Up to Courtney Riston, down inside, tried to force it to Horsemeyer. And a good San Diego bounce gives it back to Riley, who drives right side. And her layup with the right hand off the left side of the backboard, no good. In transition now is Henley. Henley pulls it back, finds Thurman inside. She misses on the first attempt. Second is just short. Riston finds the board. And a good defensive series there for San Diego after the turnover. Branson, the grad transfer from Montana State, top of the key, and drains the 17, or the 10-footer. And now a 7-1 lead for USD. Great mid-range look. When you find open space, go for it. Ball tips around. Walker has it in front of the Torero bench on the right, on the left side. And she tried to find Thurman underneath the basket. Thurman zigged. And unfortunately for Biola, Walker zagged. And so substitutions will now be in place for San Diego. Molly Tharp comes in in her sophomore year, now here at the University of San Diego. We'll take out Courtney Riston for a little bit of a break. Horsemeyer across, Ranson pulls from three. Nothing but net. San Diego out to a 10-1 lead with 5.47 to go in the first quarter. Knocking down a couple of big threes early on here. First five minutes of this contest, moving the ball inside and kicking it back out for an open look. Up to San Diego did not have too many three-point shooters the last couple of years. Thurman drives. That one's just short. And a jump ball is called. Uh, Santa Catarina was on it for San Diego, as well as Kubo for Biola. And San Diego will win it on the alternating possession. That's yeah, a great call. San Diego had relied a lot on the transition game, right? So using defense to force the offense quickly, move down the floor, try and get in close to the hoop. If you can open it up with a three-point shot or two, as they've done so far, you're really going to spread the floor out for the Toreros. Santa Cana Arena finds Horsemeyer. 15 seconds on the shot clock. There's Ranson on the far side wing. Down inside to Riley. Quick move. And puts it home. A 12-1 lead now for USD. And a great move in the paint for Riley. Outstanding entry pass. Perfectly placed between the two defenders. The second year for the painted area. You know, that was a common malpractice for us as the broadcasters <laughs> a couple of years ago and it wasn't a painted area but it looks great with the brand new court from last year nice little layup for henley really talks about all of the improvements here at the jcp yeah you always have to go with the key right or in the lane and the key right now you can actually go inside to the paint horse meyer drives baseline and off the right block lays it in 14-3 lead beautiful court at baker electric court one just misses, and Thorpe pulls it down. Four minutes to go here in the first. Ranson thought about it, now resets. It's only going to be a two, her foot was on the line. And a rebound by Henley. 14-3 lead for San Diego. That's the way you want to come out of the gates here in opening night. Walker right side. Working against Ranson, the float, no good. Off the side of the backboard. And a foul off the ball will end our first break here in San Diego. 14-3 lead for the Toreros. Alongside Jack Cronin, I'm Braden Suprenant. This is ESPN+. Plus. Our legs are tired, but not our spirits. We strive for victory, not only for ourselves, but also for our loved ones. The University of San Diego. Explore your horizon.
San Diego on a 12-2 run over the last four minutes of play as we get into the first media timeout of the game. Alongside Jack Cronin, I'm Braden Siprenit. San Diego's come out firing, have been from the three-point line, have made four of their last five field goals, and now count it and send Riley to the line, and that'll be the first time San Diego will attempt a free throw tonight, but off to a good start. Oh, are you kidding? The best possible start here to the season for San Diego. This is awesome. What a great start here using the early momentum on offense. Riley outside the paint, hits it. And it's gonna be 16 to three. I guess say the original call was on the floor, so wiped off the bucket, got it back anyway. Hey, 16 points nonetheless. Pull up Jay for Biola just short. As that was Jaya Michelle. Just checked into the game out of the timeout. Here's Thorpe in transition. And gets it ripped out of her arms for an alternating possession that will go Biola's way. Good defensive play there for the Eagles. Yeah, to get back very quickly and to get a clean block, force the change in possession. Despite the 16 3 start, Biola has played a couple of possessions of some good defense. San Diego is taking advantage of some three-pointers and some other mistakes. It hasn't been that Biola hasn't been able to make some stops, but it's been the being able to finish on offense so far here in the first half. Yeah, the big threes for San Diego, a 9-4 rebounding advantage as well for the Toreros. So a lot going well for San Diego in this opening quarter of the season. And Truett Riley, the senior transfer from Western Washington, who was actually at Cal State San Marcos for a small amount of time, off to a good start in her Torero debut. Claire Gallagher returning player from last year checked in after the timeout a tough pass over in the corner Viola is able to overcome it as they find Goldsmith four seconds on the shot clock and the layup is short rebound by Haley Rhodes as she brings it across the court Riley to Gallagher Gallagher cuts back left, finds Riley off the pick and roll, and a nice play off the glass and in from the right block, and Truett Riley having herself a great debut for the Toreros. Uh, this is a brand new look for San Diego. They're really spreading out the offense much more here, and it gives you looks both inside and out. Pretty stingy defense so far for the Toreros. Michelle works left side. Now over to Henley. Henley tried to kick it back out, and it goes off of Claire Gallagher's leg, so we'll maintain Biola basketball. Courtney Riston back in, Lauren McCall back in for San Diego, who started tonight's game. And obviously, we've talked so much about the defense under Cindy Fisher that has held Biola just the three points in the first eight minutes of this game. But again, for San Diego, it's then turning that into points and a look offensively, which they have done. Quick movement out of the out of bounds pass and all over it was JC Goldsmith. And a quick two answer, 18 to five now in favor of San Diego. 143 to go in the first quarter. Courtney Riston top of the key. Outside of the near side wing, McCall. McCall just at the elbow extended. Gallagher thought about it. Now a swing over to the far side of the court. Rhodes drives and she is rejected by Goldsmith. Good defensive series for Biola. 18-5 lead for San Diego, 120 to go in the first. Michelle right in front of the Torero bench in Camela Mela. Good play there under the basket for Riston out for a three-pointer for Moran and that's short. San Diego in transition, no good. Rebounded by Goldsmith. And that will be a foul called on the floor. And very clean first quarter from both sides in terms of fouls. Both sides able to get up and down the floor, but to avoid fouling their opponent. Michelle over to Goldsmith, cross-court pass. Michelle from deep. And that just touches the bottom half of the net and goes out of play for an air ball. It was a nice thought. It was on track, but way too deep on the attempt. But that's what San Diego's defense does. They force your weight out of where you normally would spot up for a shot like that. 18-5 lead for USD. 
Difference of about six seconds, roughly, between the shot clock and the game clock. McCall off the spin move, no good. Riston gets the rebound, the putback isn't there. Second chance points not there. Battling with a bunch of eagles underneath the hoop and Biola wins the ball back. Playing for the last shot, 10 seconds left before the end of the first quarter. It's Michelle, back outside to Camilla Mella. Three pointer off the back end of the rim. Michelle puts it back up to beat the buzzer and it goes off the rim and out. And that'll do it for one quarter of play. USD 18, Biola 5 on ESPN+. Plus. Start of the second quarter, 18-5 lead for San Diego. Alongside Jack Cronin, I'm Braden Soprano. Welcome in to the Jenny Craig Pavilion. A lot of renovations done. Court looks beautiful, ribbon boards look great, brand new video boards. As Claire Gallagher pulls from three, that's just short. Overall great look, the brand new uniforms for the women's basketball team. Shell over to Coleman. Coleman gets it taken away. Lauren McCall, Molly Tharp, layup is good. 20 to five lead for USD. What a start for the Toreros. Get it done, defense as usual, forcing the third turnover, turning it into points. Hitting a couple of threes early on here and up by 15. Camilla Mello. Finds newly inserted Hope Weber. Weber with the left hook, just short. Wriston tipped it over McCall's head and then corrals it in the backcourt. Here comes McCall with a head of steam. Now to Haley Rhodes. Finds Wriston at the top of the key. McCall cut first. Rhodes is there on the second. She pulls up a three. That's just short. And a rebound for Hope Weber. 20 to 5 lead for USD. 8.40 to go in the second quarter as Biola has kind of slowed things down a little bit. Good steal by Rhodes underneath the basket, finds Gallagher up in transition. Three-pointer for McCall, that rolls out. Good rebound by Tharp. Kicks it back outside to Riston, just outside the paint. And she makes the bucket, and Torero's picking up where they left off, causes Biola to call a timeout. 20 to five lead for USD here on ESPN Plus. The Jersey Mike's Catering Box is the easiest way to feed your friends. The hard part is picking your sub. That's why we're- Sub above. There are captivating moments, celebrated achievements, and enriching experiences that provide lifelong memories. So Clara, you are We see a boundless drive to capture titles and serve as ambassadors on our campuses and in our communities. As our footprint grows, we continue to blaze our path forward. We are passionate, we are collaborative, and we are committed to excellence. We are the West Coast Conference. Out of the timeout, Toreros have a 22 to five lead over Biola. Alongside Jack Cronin, I'm Braden Soprenit. Opening night here at the JCP for the 2024, 2025, basketball season. It's game one of a doubleheader here at the JCP. Men's basketball will tip off against Ryder at about eight o'clock Pacific time. But if you're looking for good vibes into the men's game, women have set the tone with a great start. And another great steal there for Kylie Horsmeyer. Taking it all the way herself, the jump stop and just off the back part of the rim. And a good rebound by Hope Weber for Biola. That jump stop is Kylie Horsmeyer's game. Usually makes those. Cutting right side. And getting it high off the glass is Lauren McCall. Good board for her up to Ranson. And then Horsmeyer underneath the basket, no good. Gets her own rebound. Second chance, not there. And Weber is on it for Biola. 22 to 5, 7.15 to go in the second quarter. Sydney Moran, near side, Coleman on the left side arc. Weber top of the key, 
kick basketball. I mentioned the quarters again, and we do the men's game later. The only level of basketball that still has halves. Yeah, free flowing, you know. I, and at this point in my season, in the earliest season, I know you've done a bunch of games, Braden. In football, the two minute timeout, I think I'm going to be against it. Oh, you're not? Yeah. Not for the two minute no, timeout. I, adding timeouts and stoppages at any level, whether it's basketball, football, whatever, I'm going to be against. I want the flow, the openness, but the core system works really, really well. A good play there by Ranson, almost jumped the route. Instead, it knocked it out of play. Last touch by Biola, so a good defensive play for San Diego nonetheless. So even though they got rid of stopping the clock to move the chains, you yep. don't like the no. two-minute time. You nope. would rather have the stoppage for the high up-tempo offense. I wouldn't do that either. I oh, I just get rid of that. Get rid of that, too. Riley, nice layup and in. It true at Riley, eight points tonight. She leads the Toreros. Outstanding, the stutter step move, but the control to not travel or turn the ball over, the control to stay involved underneath and then get the basket. Eight points in 10 minutes of play. Four for five from the field. And a great Torero debut. Right side now is Walker. Top of the key, Weber. 13 seconds on the shot clock, but foul called on the floor. That foul's going to be on Kylie Horsmeyer, her first. Ready the basket. Was Bracey, no good. And here comes San Diego again. Open players. Looked like she almost stepped out of bounds. Ranson kept it in, but then Horsmeyer went over the baseline and a turnover for USD. And San Diego getting a little ahead on offense, but how about the help defense on the other end of the floor stepping in to prevent the layup as well, keeping a 24 to 5 lead. A lot of contribution from some new faces and some familiar faces. Melo Melo gets cut off. And there goes Kylie Horsmeyer. Coast to coast. Back outside to Ranson. Riley's open again. Too strong. Going up for the board was Dracia Moore. That gets knocked around. There's Ranson for three. Yes. And San Diego, who had been struggling with the three pointer for the last couple of years, have found it early in game one on opening night. Starts with Riley underneath, getting the possession right back for San Diego. They swing it around, a couple extra passes, finding the open look from three. That's eight points now for Ranson. So Riley and Ranson with eight points each early on in this contest. And a great block by Truett Riley. Over to Lauren McCall. Top of the key now, back to Riley. Horsemeyer as they swing it around. Horsemeyer drives right side, baseline, layup is good. 29-5 lead for San Diego over Biola. And Biola's going to call their second. Oh, awesome to see playing for the USD Toreros and both making huge contributions. Again, with the way things are, it's very fluid nowadays at all levels and all sports. And to put this kind of chemistry together for game number one is really impressive for the coaching staff and these players to get together for San Diego. And for the San Diego program, you know, having players like Casey Newbert, who just graduated last year, who yeah. had been a mainstay in the paint, Riley's doing a great job of trying to fill some of those voids that San Diego lost during the off season that you usually you lose in college athletics. So being able to pick that up has been great for USD. Tracia Moore forcing the alternating possessions. She has been physical already tonight in the paint. Her second tie up already of the night. She's come in, has only played a couple of minutes, but has already shown an impact that you don't really see on the stat sheet. And great from a freshman to be able to do that, to make that kind of contribution. Very first college basketball game. Fouls on Lord McCall. 
That's her first personal. Second team foul of the quarter. The defense there for Ranson. 17 seconds on the shot clock. Hemley just puts something up and a rebound for Horsemeyer. Float pass over to McCall, trying to find more down to the paint and the pass goes too far. Easy interception for Henley and here comes Biola. A little bit of static there at the midline. And then a couple of shots up for Biola, no good. Thurman gets it, gets it knocked away and McCall finally finds it on the defensive end. Branson, left side, into the middle, tried to float it to Moore again, and that one gets knocked away. Keep trying to feed Moore in the paint, and just haven't been able to get a good pass to her yet. 3.30 to go until halftime. And a floater no good off the back end of the rim, and Biola has just been close, but not close enough tonight on offense. And San Diego is celebrating the defense as they usually do for the Toreros. You see the bench, the coaches for USD, everybody celebrating that defensive look for San Diego. Uh, saying defense wins championships, defense wins you a lot of games. Sydney Fisher, as we've talked about before, starting her 25th season as a head coach, 20th here at the University of San Diego. It's a big reason why her teams have accumulated 398 wins in her career, 339 here at the University of San Diego. Just awesome. Very cool to see. You see the banner hanging up here, the 2008 uh, NCAA tournament appearance be 20 years and how about that you mentioned two and a half decades and nearly 400 victories for Cindy Fisher and you're looking for that 400th victory is a couple of games away to go back to how San Diego's finished on offense and Biola has not San Diego shooting 46 percent for the yeah. field Biola eight percent in yeah. the first half just the two made buckets and the one free throw Get you the five points right now. 29 to five lead for USD. McCall out to Amore. Down to Moore. Moore, the spin move and the jump shot is good. Great move for Dracia Moore. Getting her for first points in her college career. Erica Carr now in for San Diego in the paint. That one's just short, rebound kicked out. Miller, and that gets knocked away. More great defense by the Toreros. Lauren McCall left side. Jump step, no good. Carr had it, and it's last touch by Carr out of play. How about the move inside for San Diego? More a contested look, able to get it over the defender with a pure shot. 31-5 lead for San Diego. Cutting underneath the basket and losing the ball was Henley, Horsemeyer pulls it down. Kylie across the timeline, outside of Lauren McCall. Call works back right. Moore just gets the ball knocked away off of her knee and that'll be Biola basketball, 2.08 to go here in the second quarter. Deep roster already for Sydney Fisher and the Chiberos. And Very deep, looking for minutes. The opening game of the season, the only one at home till after Thanksgiving. And seeing what this new kind of roster has to offer. Under two minutes to play before halftime. Walker left side, she gets cut off. Into the paint in the lane, that's too strong. Another rebound for San Diego and Tracia Moore. Biola just all over the place so far in the first half. Try to force it to Carr, it's a little bit too high and Biola pulls it down. Jump shot, no good. Rebound by Thurman, Thurman posting up. The right hand on the hook and off the glass and in. And Biola finally gets on the board for the first time here in the second quarter. The 13-0 run that just got snapped by Biola. 1.15 to go in the quarter. And it's now 31-7. Carr now off the glass and in. Erica Carr, the freshman from Grand Prairie, Texas. 
And both sides, back-to-back -back buckets looking very similar using the window. But each side needing that kind of offensive look. Off the foot. Oh, another kick ball. And San, San Diego will remain on defense here. 52 seconds left in the quarter. Kubo finds Walker. Top of the key now, Miller. Back to Walker, eight seconds to shoot. Down to five, down to four. Walker puts up a shot, no rim, down to two. And just beating the shot clock was Sandy, or is Biola's Jessa Thurman. Makes it 33 to nine. No shot clock here to finish the half for San Diego. And a timeout for Cindy Fisher. So no timeouts yet, the non carryover. How about Thurman, back-to-back -back buckets for Biola, very similar fashion. That one beats the buzzer at the end of the shot clock to make sure they have a little bit of offense here heading into the break. 33-9 lead for USD. Again, it's been the offense for the Toreros, mixed with some defense, taking advantage of some mistakes by Biola, but got to like what you see out of the Toreros in game number one to start the season. 7% beyond the arc. You're hitting the three, you're already way ahead of the game. So different kinds of looks on offense, spreading out the opportunities, because that forces the defense to play all kinds of different things. That's what I'm looking forward to. We know the defense is there for the Toreros. Keep that up, obviously. But then the diversity on offense, the number of looks they're having, I think is really gonna change the way this team looks. As for Biola, they have had many different looks to make the game on the scoreboard and the stat sheet seem a lot closer uh, than what it currently is. What do you see it, Biola doing to try to climb back a little bit and start working uh, for the rest of the season? Well, you got to control the basketball. This is a great defensive team for San Diego. Turned the ball over nine times, being out rebounded by nine, and not hit a three point bucket in this game for Biola. So I think we saw a little bit of it there at the end of the second quarter when they had back to back shots. It was Thurman who got inside, used the glass, high percentage shots. So some of those start to fall if you're Biola, then there more will come. And it just took them such a long time to get going. They wound up shooting 12% for the half and did not hit a three-point bucket. 36 to nine lead for the Toreros over the Eagles of Biola here in game one of a doubleheader at the Jenny Craig Pavilion. We'll be switching sides now. San Diego will be going from right to left. Biola from left to right. Biola will start the second half with possession. Walker Miller, Kubo, Goldsmith, and Camilla Mella. Starting five to start the second half for Biola. As for San Diego, McCall, Riley, Horsemeyer, Riston, and Ranson. All had great starts to the night. To drive in the lane and the layup is good. So Biola starts off the third quarter a lot better than it did the first half, but a quick two to make it 36 to 11. Ranson dribbles right side. Almost had a missed pass with Horsemeyer. Back outside to Ranson on the far side corner. Ranson cross court pass, McCall pulls the three. That's off the front end of the rim. Crashing the board was Camden Miller, and she pulls down the rebound for Biola. Walker. Back outside to Goldsmith. She buries a three. And a great start for Biola here in the second half. A 5-0 run to get things started. So they went inside first, opened up a three-point opportunity, knocked down the first two shots. They picked that up at the very end of the second quarter. Now it's done here in the beginning of the third. Horsemeyer down inside to Riley. Riley with a hook and a right-handed drive. She gets fouled. Shot is a little bit short, so she will See if there's a shooting foul or not. And it's going to be. So Riley will be at the free throw line. This is the first free, th free throw attempt for San Diego tonight. Only the second time we have seen somebody go to the line in this evening's game. Yeah, very clean first half. Well done on both sides uh, to avoid some of the fouls. Riley's first free throw is good. 37 to 14, give Riley nine points on the evening. Nine points in 14 minutes played. Four for six from the field. 
And now two for two from the charity strike. Gotta love those numbers in San Diego. 100% for the free throw line. <laughs> Great team stats early. Miller to Walker, Walker outside the Goldsmith for three. Back-to-back -back possessions with a three ball. Eagles trying to climb back in at 38-17, but they have looked way better starting the second half. Look confident, going after it, went inside to start, and then back-to-back -back three point buckets. Very confident start to the third quarter for Biola. Mike Simonson, first year as a head coach of Biola, doing a great job in his halftime adjustments. Fouls called. San Diego's been able to do foul. things. You know, the first half, they didn't have to drive as much. They were hitting some of the outside shots. This is two possessions now where you have grabbed fouls. You have seized on contact and created alternate possessions. McCall battle for the ball. That gets knocked out of play, and a foul is called. It's going to be on Truett Riley. That's her first personal. Kubo, right side, way off. Riley pulls down the board. Riley with 10 points and now three boards. Ranson underneath the basket making the play. She's got double digits tonight. So impressive in traffic. A nifty move off the glass to finish that off going through two defenders. Ranson and Riley, both who spent some time at Cal State Mark San Marcos. Tied for the team lead in points with 10 each. Horsemeyer underneath the basket, back outside to Riston. Jump shot is good. Great ball movement leading to an open bucket for Courtney Riston, and the Toreros have a 42 to 17 lead. Highlight type passing after Horsemeyer gets the defensive stop, creates the turnover, back helping out on the offensive end. Two great passes leading to an open bucket. Walker layup is good, 42 to 19. San Diego still shooting 51% from the field. Biola's now upped it up to 22. And a foul called away from the ball. Foul's gonna be on Camden Miller. With seven minutes to go in the third. San Diego's already created three fouls in the first three minutes of this half. McCall underneath the basket, inbound, Horsemeyer catch and shoot off the back end of the rim. Riley puts it back and gets fouled. She'll go to the line for the second time tonight. And the fourth foul already here in just over three minutes. So San Diego's been aggressive on the offensive end. One of the ways they can create the offense. Goldsmith, that's her fourth personal foul already, as you mentioned, and the fourth Team foul this half. Riley makes the first. So Riley with 11 points tonight and 16 minutes of play. Second free throw, also good. And Truett Riley's had a great night so far. 44 to 19 lead and a steal for San Diego. Lauren McCall, Truett Riley into Ranson in the near side corner. Ranson cuts back right, finds Horsemeyer. McCall outside the perimeter on the right side. Into the middle now is Riston. At the top of the key, off of the screen, 17 footer is good. 12 footer is good for Lauren McCall. Makes it a 44 to, or 46 to 19 game. McCall's first points of the night. Horsemeyer gets the board. Now almost every Torero has points this evening. And the possession will stick with San Diego. And doing it in multiple ways, right? That was a mid-range jump shot. Gone inside, gone to the free throw line, hit the threes in the first half, many different ways. Catch and shoot, Ranson. That's just off the front end of the rim. And here comes Walker. Viola in transition. And a tough pass intercepted by Riley. As I think it drew contact on a player before that. Ranson down inside to Riston. Riston right side, and she gets fouled. 
So Courtney will go to the free throw line. That's another contact foul created by San Diego being aggressive offensively. Wrist in front of the free throw line. First of the two is good. Give San Diego a 47 to 19 lead. Wrist in her senior year now at the University of San Diego at a Broomfield, Colorado. Second free throw is no good. Rebound to Thurman. And a little bit of pressure from San Diego, but not too much as Biola takes it across the court. 5.50 to go in the third. Picking up her dribble was Kubo. Over to Camila Mela. Posting up against Ranson. Picks up her dribble, finds Kubo. Cutting back left, and that's nowhere near the basket. Could have been borderline a pass, I guess, to Camden Miller. Instead, San Diego will have the ball. Inside to Wriston, and a good defensive play by Thurman. To knock that one away, but it will maintain San Diego basketball. A couple of great defensive plays last time down there. Eagles. San Diego maybe getting a piece of that ball, but then Kyle Horsmeyer boxing out on the defensive glass, getting the rebound off a missed shot to get right back up and running. Horsmeyer on the right side arc, top of the key now, Riley. 5.20 to go in the third quarter, 47-19 lead for USD. Horsmeyer back outside of Wriston, pump fake once, finds Ranson cutting to the basket, driving in the lane, and it's an offensive foul. So Ranson goes a little bit too hard. That's going to be her second personal foul. But still aggressive, still an aggressive look for San Diego. That was one of the adjustments made at halftime for USD. They could go inside a little bit more. They've created the contact, that one doesn't go their way. 5.08 to go in the quarter. Michelle, ball gets knocked away. Henley is there. Henley working off the screen of Thurman. Finds Thurman just outside the arc. It's just outside the elbow, sorry. Inside, spin move, and the floater doesn't go. Off the backboard, doesn't draw a rim. San Diego in transition now. Ranson, easy finger roll. 49-19, it's a 30-point lead for San Diego. Biola now in a scoring drought. The last two minutes and 28 seconds as San Diego over that span has been on a 7-0 run. 12 points now for Ranson. Thurman, too strong. And Riley gets her fifth rebound of the evening. Quickly trying to find wrist underneath the basket and the pass was just a little bit too high. And that'll do it for us in the first or the <laughs> first break of the third quarter 49 19 lead for usd on a 7-0 run here on espn plus Forty-nine, nineteen lead for USD over Biola. Four sixteen to go in the third. Alongside Jack Cronin, I'm Braden Surprenant bringing the action tonight. Game one of a double header here at the University of San Diego in the Jenny Craig Pavilion. Biola, who had a rough first half, has started to put together a pretty good second half to get things going. But San Diego is currently on a 7-0 run, going into the timeout. Thurman underneath the basket, eight to shoot, and a great layup. As she cuts that one in, 49-21. Thurman with their fourth point of the night. Unfortunately for Biola, their best shooter so far has been Goldsmith, J.C. Goldsmith, but she has to spend some time on the bench with four personal fouls already with 3.32 to go in the third. And there is another USD Torero to score for the first time tonight. Haley Rhodes on the board. Everybody has scored for San Diego with the exception of Claire Gallagher who has only played six minutes on the court. But is on the court right now. Going to have an opportunity to have the offensive contributions even though she has contributed already with an assist. Another good board by Riley. That's her sixth travel. 
Nice Paris see. Santa Catarina, a little bit too aggressive there, but you like to see the aggression early. Absolutely. The Rhodes Twins are transferring from Moorhead State. Jaden and Keller, yeah. Texas. That's right. The Eagles of Moorhead State. Remember the uh, Pioneer Football League on the football side. Trey. Right. San Diego's football team will be going there to Eastern Kentucky in a little bit. Travel. Closing out the season there. That's part of the new look for this roster for San Diego. Gallagher, Rhodes. Right side, Gallagher. Riley thought about it. Pulls up and now gets the ball taken away. Henley with a steal. Finding Moran. She gets cut off. Three-pointer for Miller. That's too long. And another board for Riley. Her seventh. Santa Catarina. Coast to coast layup is good. 53-21, 205 to go in the third quarter. Controlled, aggressive look there, using the step over, not creating the contact. So there's no offensive foul possibility, avoiding your defender and laying it up and in. Wonderful work. Under two minutes to go in the third. Thurman loses the ball, last touch by San Diego, so it will be Biola basketball. Shot clock is still at eight seconds. As Eva Roos now goes to the scoring table, three seconds to go on the shot clock. Got to pull up a shot, and Biola does not get it off. Thurman, last minute desperation as J.M. Michelle was under some serious duress there with two seconds to shoot. And forcing another turnover is that San Diego defense. 13 now forced by the Tomeros <laughs> as we reach the end of the third quarter. <laughs> Eva Ruse is in for Riley. Forward freshman in North Vancouver, Canada. Tharp shot is off the mark. And a quick hustle play by Michelle to run that one down for Biola, 120 to go in the third quarter. 53-21 USD. Miller. Finds Moran in the backcourt. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Moran goes left side. Moran pulls up a shot. Able to kiss the rim, but Santa Catarina was able to pull it down. Almost a pass to herself right there as Henley got up to reject that. Santa Catarina loses control and gets fouled going down. It'll be a foul against Henley. It's like and when the quarterback is getting ready to pass, it's a ball rejected by a yes. defensive lineman back to themselves, but it takes off a run. It's great. It's a great play. Athletic on both sides. Really nice. Don't throw it again. Just, just run, please. Run. Do not create any, create any more havoc <laughs> that you don't already need. Paris Santa Catarina will be at the free throw line for her first time in 2024 and misses her first free, free throw. 53 points for San Diego contributed by many. Second shot is good. 11 different players have scored for USD tonight. Henley. Across the court. Working back left. Into the corner now, Moran. Back to Henley. Working against Gallagher in a one-on-one -on -one coverage. Henley with the step back three. That's good. And a good play by Sammy Henley. Her fifth point of the night. Makes it a 30-point game, 54-24. Rhodes too strong. And Miller pulls it down, 15 seconds. Good tip by Rhodes. Good chance here for San Diego. Santa Canarina tries to take it herself. That's just short. And a rebound by Michelle. Six seconds left before the end of the third. Down to four, down to three. And he had a shot off Moran. And off the backboard and back rim, no good. And San Diego will go to the fourth quarter, leading it 54-24. Alongside Jack Cronin, I'm Braden Suprenit right here on ESPN+. Plus. We see a boundless drive to capture titles and serve as ambassadors on our campuses and in our communities. 
As our footprint grows, we continue to blaze our path forward. We are passionate, we are collaborative, and we are committed to excellence. We are the West Coast Conference. Start of the fourth quarter here at the Jenny Craig Pavilion. Alongside Jack Cronin, I'm Braden Suprenant. San Diego has a 54-24 lead over Biola in opening night here at the JCP. It is game one of a doubleheader as the men will tip off against Ryder coming up at 8 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. Shot by Gallagher just off the mark. Jump ball will favor Biola to get the fourth quarter started. Eagles shooting 40% for that third quarter, 6 to 15. Nicely done, the rebound coming out of halftime. And how about San Diego? Brady, each of the first three quarters, they've shot exactly 50%. 50%, 50%, 50% for the game. They're shooting 50%. Is that good? It's good. That's right. Very impressive. It's not bad, I'll tell you that. By the way, also 50% beyond the arc, four of eight for the Toreros from three-point range. Down inside. Now back out, swung around to Michelle in the left side corner. Five seconds on the shot clock. Goldsmith, who's back in with four fouls. Two seconds, and they will not get it off. Shot clock violation. At the end of the third quarter, Viola is taking a little bit longer to get some shots off, and that is the second shot clock violation for the Eagles. And the third, fourth, or fifth time that they have had it come down to that point, offensive foul for San Diego. So we're gonna go look at things here after this one. The Toreros had just forced their 16th turnover of the game defensively, and now they're going to take a little review. This is away from the basket. So they're taking a look if it's an illegal screen. Well, that immediate timeout, the call on the court does stand. It was confirmed that it was an illegal screen on Eva Ruse, her first personal first team foul here with 9.06 to go in the ball game. San Diego leads it 54-24. And they've done a great job shooting 50% from the field in every quarter so far, including for the game. Three ball for Biola's Coleman, and that's no good. Loose ball and picked up by Paris Santa Catarina. Up to Gallagher. Gallagher in the corner to Rose. Near left side. Then left side arc. Now back to the top of the key for Rose. Down inside Rose cutting the basket. She's just short. Going up strong for a second time and draws the foul. And Rose will go to the free throw line for the first time. What a pass from Rose. Top of the key here. Firing this one inside and getting eventually the opportunity at the free throw line because of a great entry pass again and a great cut to the hoop for San Diego. So Rhodes will be at the free throw line. Junior guard transfer from Moorhead State as we talked about. First shot for Rhodes is nothing but net. Makes it 55-24, 8.29 to go in the fourth. San Diego, seven of nine from the free throw line. We mentioned the four of eight shooting beyond the arc and 50% overall from the floor. Second free throw is also good. 56-24 lead for USD. Shell at the point, cutting back right. Picks up her dribble, finds an outlet in Moran on the other side of the court. Moran now dribbles back behind the arc, nine seconds on the shot clock. And a little bit too handsy is Paris Santa Catarina. 
Second foul on Santa Catarina. And a fresh shot clock for Biola, 8.05 to go. Moran saves that pass from going out of play. Now cuts left underneath the basket. Gets cut off. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Driving in the lane was Wessling, and she gets denied. Gallagher, left side arc, top of the key now, and Ruse. Going back to the left is Gallagher. Ruse gets fouled on the right side block, and now Ruse will go to the free throw line. Well, after that great pass in the last possession, now on the opposite side, get a chance to drive and create the own contact, get to the free throw line for Ruse. Really well done. Eva Ruse had a North Vancouver, Canada. First year here at the University of San Diego. First free throw just rolls out. Or the freshman getting some minutes tonight against Biola. Second free throw is good. San Diego's done a pretty good job shooting from the free throw line tonight as they lead at 57 24. 9 for 12. Jump shot no good on the float. And corralled by Roos and then moved along to Gallagher. With the bounce pass inside the Tharp. Tharp tried to find an outlet outside the arc and instead gets the ball knocked away. Moran cut off by Santa Catalina. And Santa Catarina with the steal. Nice forwarding pass to Tharp, who finishes it off and a 59-24 lead for USD. Textbook bounce pass in transition off the steal. That's what the Terrell's been known for here, and it's a perfectly executed transition break. 6.39 to go in the fourth. Kubo to Michelle. Michelle at the top of the key, taking her time. 17 seconds on the shot clock. Wessling over to Bracey. Wessling drives, and Wessling gets fouled with nine seconds on the shot clock. 6.18 to go in the ball game. And Wessling will go to the free throw line. A Moore, Ranson, and Horsemeyer check into the game for San Diego. Santa Catarina comes out as well as Rhodes and Gallagher. As for Viola, Hope Weber will come in for Sydney Moran. Westling's free throw is good. 59-25. Second free throw, just short. Ball tipped around, and a nice pickup by Ruse. Up to Horsemeyer. Horsemeyer slows things down around the horn through Tharp. Finds Ranson on the right side arc, and Ranson is fouled as she cut back left and tried to drive in the lane. Foul's going to be against Jamelia Coleman, which is her first foul of the night. Ranson with the layup, count it. There were 14 points on the night, shooting at the line to make it 15. Now this is again the aggressive look for San Diego. The Toreros this year have different ways they can get baskets, create offense. And it's fun to watch because you don't know what it's going to be every time down the floor. Free throw no good. Michelle left side, cuts back right. Outlet Bracey. 
Bracey kicks it out to Wessling. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Down to five, down to four. Knocked away. Putting up a shot, no good. And another shot clock violation for Biola. That was a great defensive play by Ruse to poke the ball loose on a, tra on a pass, bounce pass to try to end the shot clock. I think that's three different 30-second defenses in this half for San Diego. Horsmeyer just short. Three ball off the front end of the rim by Coleman. Tharp, Horsmeyer in the corner, down inside. There's Ruse, and Ruse off the glass and in. And again, San Diego continues to get con contributions from everybody in their lineup, and Ranson gets hit in the face. Ranson making sure he doesn't have any blood under underneath their nose. Shaking it off, good to see. And we're gonna go to a timeout. 63-25 lead for USD, 4.46 to go here on ESPN. Sixty-three twenty-five lead for San Diego. As we get ready for the under five of the fourth quarter. Alongside Jack Cronin, I'm Braden Suprenant. Thanks again for tuning into the broadcast. Game one of a doubleheader here at the JCP as the men's basketball team will take over next against Ryder out of New Jersey. Not a bad West Coast swing for Ryder in the month of November. Team from New Jersey coming down. They played UCLA earlier in the week and now play San Diego two days later. Nice trip to Southern California in early November. Sign me up. Five seconds on the shot clock. This one draws rim. There's a battle for the ball. The clock does reset. Three ball for Moran, nothing but net. So a little bit late on the shot clock in the arena, but everybody kept playing. They knew what the assignment was. 406 to go. Couple of bounces back and forth off of the rebound, and instead it will be off of Biola and San Diego basketball, four minutes to go. Nice job by Tharp to stay with it and force the ball out of bounds off of the Eagles and maintain possession for the Toreros. Branson, Horsemeyer cut off. Top of the key of Moore. Moore tried to force it into Ruse, but Ruse does a good job getting it back to a Moore. Tharp, Horsemeyer, right side baseline with a spin move and puts one up. And we'll draw contact and shoot at the line. I almost thought I was going to go in. It's a nice play to battle through the contact and get to the free throw line. Tyler Horsemeyer, one of the best free throw shooters on the team. Go. And has been one of the better free throw shooters for San Diego throughout her San Diego career. Contributions up and down the floor on defense, on offense. Great basketball IQ. As Horsemeyer bangs it home on the first one, 64 28 is now the lead for USD. Second free throw, also good. So Horsemeyer's got six points tonight with the two free throws made. Ranson's got the most with 14. As she is now the guilty party on the foul, her third personal. Second on the club, Truett Riley with 12 points tonight. Everybody else has scored. With the exception of Claire Gallagher, who has a couple assists. Three thirty-three to go. Coleman over to Moran and a backcourt violation. San Diego extending the defense all the way out to midcourt, forcing the over and back. Hallmark to rail defense. Laura McCall checks back in for Ava Ranson. 
327 to go. I'm sorry, 317 to go. Erica Carr. Laura McCall cutting the basket. A hard pass to Horsemeyer. She can't hang on. And it rolls over the baseline and out of play. 65-28. 310 to go, but not 310 to Yuma. Ran over to Coleman in the backcourt, 250. A nice move there by Bracey. And she finds it off the right block. 65-30 is the score. McCall pulls up from the left elbow, no good. Carr with a put back. And Carr's got four points tonight. And a steal and a basket again by a Moore. 69-30 lead for San Diego. Biola calls a timeout. 2.28 to go here in the fourth quarter. On the other end of the floor, Sierra Bracey, the San Diego High School. Moran finds Bracey, San Diego product, as Jack mentioned. Coleman left side, nine seconds on the shot clock. San Diego's defense has been stingy. Here comes Moore, the steal, forces it back to Horsemeyer, the putback, it's good. Great defensive play, leading the offense. Moore with the steal and finds Horsemeyer cutting to the basket. What a way to cap off a great opening night for San Diego. A signature Torero defensive play. Hustle, keeping the ball in bounds and finishing off at the hoop. 71-30 lead for San Diego, 147 to go. Let's go, Time out, So Biola calls a timeout. Get some subs in. They will not utilize it from a coaching perspective, just stopping the clock. As Jay Michelle gets the inbounds pass, 140 to go. Weaver at the elbow and trying to find a cutting Bracey, just passes it below her. And a turnover for Biola. San Diego on a 6-0 run. Last 56 seconds of play have made their last three field goals. McCall, left-handed layup too strong. Carr with the putback also no good. After it pinballs out, it's picked up by Coleman who is cut off now by Amore. Coleman to Michelle. Michelle working against McCall. One ton to go in the game. Weaver thought about it. Weaver drives right side. Weaver loses the ball over the baseline. Last touch by San Diego. 63 seconds left. Amore with the steal. And one minute to go in the match. Amore down inside. As Moore gets it knocked away. Carr picks it up. McCall pulls it. Jay, that's no good. And Biola gets the rebound in the form of Michelle, who brings it across the timeline. 71-30 is the lead for San Diego. Michelle right side, crossover step, passes back to Bracey who cuts to the basket. She picks up her dribble, finds Weber in the paint at the WCC logo. She goes up with the left hand, that's no good. 26 seconds left. San Diego in transition, loses the ball, diving for it is Moore. Alternating possession favors the Toreros with 21.2 seconds left in the game. Hustle down to the final seconds of this contest. Outstanding to see in the season opener. San Diego's had a lot to build off of here in game number one of the 2024-2025 season. Inbounds pass goes to Amore with 20 seconds. Jump shot in front of the free throw line and a foul is called. Foul's gonna be on Coleman, her third personal. And Amore's at the line. First free throw attempts for Amore in her college career. And she makes the first out of Melbourne, Australia. Yeah. 
Second free throw, also good. And the Toreros have a 73-30 lead with 17.4 seconds left in the game. Working on some full court pressure, here comes Michelle. And she loses the ball, Lauren McCall, 10 seconds. Layup transition, good. And Toreros have a 75-30 lead. And as Biola will burn out the final seconds of the game. San Diego improving to 1-0 on the season with a 75-30 win over Biola. Bad Close I don't want to let it go. I don't want to If I am not a lot of I am not a lot of money.
perlu ada dia. Hmm. Atau rambut orang mungkin 